I'm Jaden. And I'm Oxy. And, and welcome, welcome to HEB Flicks. The trailer for Frozen 2 was released February 13th. The trailer shows us some familiar characters such as Elsa, Anna, Sven, Kristoff, and Olaf. The film releases November 2019. Honestly, I thought they would stop after the first one. No, they kept going. I mean, personally, personally, I think the first one was overrated. That's one of the most overrated Disney movies. It was still really good. It was great, but it's I don't know. It's way too overpopulated. They wouldn't yeah. Yeah, but I'm glad they're bringing LGBT into it. About Elsa having a girlfriend, possibly? Mm hmm I'm here for the diversity. Anyways, creator of Get Out, Jordan Peele, has led us onto yet another thriller movie called Us. In the trailer, you can see a happy family on a vacation listening to I Got Five on it, and just as the song gets darker, so does the storyline. Not only is the family being haunted by an unknown force, they're being haunted by themselves. To see what happens, the movie comes out on March 21st this year. Jordan Peele has been making a humongous difference in the uh, history of filming with uh, black people, just because he's, he's already produced and directed two great thriller bangers mm -hmm. called Get Out and Us, and then he will be also hosting the remake of The Twilight Zone. I'm so excited for that. But yeah, based off of Get Out, I've also heard that both of his movies um, he made off of actual fears that he has in real life. That's great. So, yeah. The second trailer for Disney's live action remake of Aladdin with some new scenery with an all new look of Will Smith's genie. The film releases May 24th. There's been a lot of controversy about the way I Will know. Smith looks. I know. Oh, the my genie. goodness. But I think it's going to be okay. I think they're, they're working or they're doing too much about what he looked like. We only had like four seconds of what he looked like. Exactly. And Disney is great when it comes to making like childhood dreams come to life through film. So I think it's going to be great. I hope it meets my expectations. Mm -hmm. But up next, star actress from Orange is the New Black, Taylor Schilling, will be starring in a new horror movie, The Prodigy. The Prodigy seems to be about a young child who's a little bit different than all the other kids, but not just through intelligence. Luckily, the movie has already been released since February 8th, so make sure to check it out. I, judging from the trailer, I was actually really spooked out by it. Because, you know, normally they always have a kid being, like, you know, spooky or whatever. Mm -hmm. But this time they're making him intelligent, so it's like he can kill everybody in so many different ways. And I don't know, I'm just excited to Usually see what all happens. The, all the bad people are dumb, like Jason in Friday the 13th or Mike Myers. But now this kid's, like, smart. He knows how to work his way exactly. around Exactly, yeah. Makes it even more terrifying. Mm-hmm. Days Gone is an upcoming survival action adventure game set in a post-apocalyptic open world played from the third person view as the character Deacon St. John. The game releases April 26th. So tell me about that, because I've actually never played. Well, like, it's a it's pretty much an open world zombie game. You can do challenges, a story mode, and just run around killing zombies. But, I mean, I've always loved zombie games because they're, they're fun. You can never really get bored of them, especially with a good storyline. So is it kind of like The Last of Us and The Walking Dead? Yeah. Stephen King is back to scare us all again with a remake of one of his most well-known novels, Pet Cemetery. If you've learned anything from watching movies based on books, it's that there's always a little twist. Pet Cemetery will be coming out April 5th this year, so make sure you check it out. I love the original Pet Cemetery, especially I read a little bit of the book. I mean, I'm not really a book person, but I know that the movie was good, and if they keep up what they did, like with all of Stephen King's movies, mm -hmm. they're going to keep going good. Especially just like Gerald's game and It, it's going to knock my socks off. I will be terrified. Apex Legends is an all-new Battle Royale game that gives you the feel of multiple first-person shooter games. You have the choice of choosing a different eight different characters, each with a different ability. The game goes on as you drop on an island, loot up, and survive to be the last man standing. A lot of games are trying to be... Uh, Battle Royale ever since it started with H1Z1 and then it went to Fortnite, PUBG, and just oh, a whole lot of games. But Apex is different because it has just a different feel to it mm -hmm. and it's like all new. So would you say this is much better than Fortnite? Yes. Good. Yes, we need something better. So, How to Train Your Dragon is, according to rumors, making its last and final sequel, which will have everyone in their feelings. It's been shown through the trailers that not only has all of the original characters grown up, but Toothless has found yet another dragon just like himself. How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World is said to be released February 22nd. 
I liked the first. The first one was amazing. I loved it. The second one was it was good because it was just it was a continuance of the story. But now mm-hmm. I want to actually see since uh, this is the third one and possibly the last one. Mm-hmm. Well, goes on exactly. yeah judging based off on the first two I'm really curious to see how this last one unfolds mm-hmm. Mortal Kombat 11 has given us some amazing trailers to the new game and the characters including Scorpion Sub-Zero Sonya Blade Raiden Scarlet and Baraka other trailers have been released on various characters included in the game the game releases March 12 2018 you know Mortal Kombat was actually the first fighting game I've ever played it's and it is nice. my favorite. I love gore and all the gore and detail and everything that goes into it. It's very fun, especially playing with other friends and like just fighting, maybe doing like tournaments or other than that. Oh yeah, especially. Yeah. Main character from Jane the Virgin, Tina Rodriguez, will be going from sweet and harmless to savage and dangerous in the action-packed movie Miss Bala. As she just so happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, she used her survival skills to thrive through crazy situations. Miss Bala was released on the 1st of January, so hurry and watch it while you still can. Honestly, I'm really excited because all of the other stuff I've seen her act in has been like, you know, playful, cheerful, da da. Yeah. But in this one, she seems to be going from, you know, like I said, sweet to dangerous. And I think the fact that she fell in love with the person that was trying to kill her it makes it even more interesting. Mm-hmm. See how it plays out. The trailer for the remake of Child's Play dropped showing us characters such as Andy, Karen Barkley, and Detective Mike Norris. The film stars Gabriel Bateman, Aubrey Plaza, Brian Tyree Henry, and Tim Matheson and is produced by Seth Graham Smith and David Kotzenberg. The film releases June 21st, 2019. Oof. The original Chucky was really good. I like that was my first horror movie. And I just liked the how creepy and like movie got me into horror movies Mm -hmm. so I hope that they keep that energy alive with this one same especially if they use a different actor for you know who plays Chucky and stuff I hope they keep up the gore and all the jump scares and everything Mm -hmm. finally as we were all left in tears on the edge of our seats the Avengers will be making an iconic comeback this year to save us all from the dramatic cliffhanger from Infinity War Avengers 4 Endgame will bring back all the characters we love to defeat Thanos the destroyer of worlds all the questions you may have had about Infinity War will be answered April 26th. I love Marvel so much. Marvel has been climbing oh my since gosh. Iron Man all the way now to just everything has been going on. Like Iron Man and then Nick Fury coming in Iron Man. Iron Man 2 showing Wakanda, Wakanda going Black Panther. It just exactly. All everything big, is always connected, even the X-Men movies. And I just wish Stanley was here. That's all we have for today for you guys on HEB Flicks. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next week.